Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing one of the finest dress chronographs to be released by Audemars Piguet in the 21st century. This is the Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Stade Classic Titanium Limited Edition of 250 pieces from 2011. You can see this vintage auto themed Manufacture Movement Chronograph 41mm in Titanium and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional special accessories included in its boxed set, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Stad Classic. Now. The timepiece on my wrist is not an offshore. It's not a royal oak of any kind. And by the conventional calculus of the market, it shouldn't be worth your time. But the thing is, Audemars Piguet's history is a lot longer, broader, and richer than just octagonal sports watches. And if you want to look to the tradition of dress watches, you find the root of AP's reputation as part of the Holy Trinity. It didn't get to be a leg of that triad by building the Royal Oaks during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. No, it built watches like this. Even if you're not into autos, even if you're not into the whole idea of the road rally for which this model was created, there's a color and a character and a romance and a delicacy to the finishing and the detailing of this watch that recommends it over almost any sports watch Audemars Piguet makes. This would be my choice. 41 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the chronograph pushers of the crown. It's an easy wear on a 16 centimeter circumference wrist like mine. All of titanium, it is light, so there's no sense that you're wearing something excessively hefty. It's a good match for summer activities, such as the Stad Classic Road Rally. And of course, the watch is reasonably thin, despite the fact that it is a modular chronograph, 12.8 millimeters thick with a generously rounded case flank and a conical bezel means it will slide underneath a dress cuff quite easily. And lug to lug, it is an absolute sweetheart as the watch has short cropped 47.4 millimeter lug spacing across the wrist with a versatile 22 millimeter lug spacing between the lugs if you wish to accessorize. Now the case, again, lightweight with a regularly shaped case back, no hot spots, no pressure points. You'll also note that the lugs are drilled quite close to the case flank, but because of the curved spring bars, you're able to have that highly integrated close hauled look with the strap right next to the case and yet no stiffness. It doesn't fight and flare because those curved bars allow it to be pulled straight down around the tight curve of a smaller wrist. The strap is a beautiful piece too. I must say it's handsomely cross stitched with two contrasting stitches. One is a sort of golden hue that nicely matches the dial and the other is a light blue that's absolutely gorgeous. It's a gray blue or a slate blue, a perfect match for the titanium satin finish of the case. For that matter, even the clasp is handsome in its finish. As you'll note, it's all of a matte finish, a blasted finish that's wonderfully blue-gray in the fashion of finished titanium that is not of a high polish. Light in weight, it's also handsome in profile and gives you an extra measure of security while donning or removing so that you won't drop this gorgeous watch. The underside of the strap is calfskin. The top of the strap is calfskin and it's evocative of vintage auto upholstery and driving gloves. Now the case band is beautifully executed. Attention to de detail is rich with this one as you can see a very pronounced step or cleft between the lugs and the case giving the watch some character and definition. You also note satin finish on the mid case runs horizontally whereas the satin finish on the lugs is vertical. You can also note that the polish of the lug hoods contrasts with the satin finish of the flanks and there's a little lip of polish about the case band that sticks out from under the wrist. So too does the polish of the bezel, which is handsome, reflective, glossy, and gleaming. Now that the watch is off the wrist, we can get a little bit closer and improve the focus of this video. You can see the dial is absolutely gorgeous. Start with the silvered tachymeter scale outboard, ideal for gauging the speed of an automobile over a fixed distance, such as a standing kilometer. You'll also note the vintage font used for the tach, as well as the small Arabic numerals within the, the minutes and seconds track. All applied rose gold Arabic numerals are absolutely gorgeous. They look perfect underneath the, the palm or apple style hands. You can, you can see it's actually an apple style hour hand and what might be described as assegai or spear shaped minutes hand with a gorgeous lollipop counterweight. You can see on one side the chronograph seconds hand 
counterweighted with a lollipop style cutout and on the other side a beautiful shock of red, easily red against the tobacco brown base of the center dial. This watch is vintage inspired and evocative without being a hackneyed play on any specific vintage reference. It basks in no reflected glory. It is an original design even though it channels the charisma of a bygone age. You also note the beautiful chapter rings in polished gold about the constant seconds and the chronograph minutes. Incredibly handsome. The detail level here is extraordinary. You'll note the difference in the size of the railroad scale inside the seconds as well as chronograph minutes and the fact that the counterweight for constant seconds is solid whereas the counterweight for chronograph minutes like seconds is hollow. Beautifully executed. Now turning the watch over you can see that the chronograph pushers are low in profile. They have a shouldered look but they are not screw downs. They are push down style so your chronograph is always ready for action. So it has a shouldered look but the these are not screw down crowns. Note that the start stop is beautifully gold colored, a golden push down. Absolutely beautiful. Detailing is rich with this one. No detail overlooked. You'll even note as I turn the watch over, Stad Classic blazing on the back, but the movement exquisitely hand finished. You can see the engraved winding mass with the coats of arms of the Audemars and Piguet family as AP is the oldest continuously family owned watch brand in Switzerland. Now the basic movement is a 3134 with the Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module, but note it's not the same module as on the offshore because this is a twin register design. Now the base caliber, automatic winding with bi-directional action and ceramic rotor bearings. What does that mean? Bi-directional means it doesn't have an unloaded unidirectional wobble on the wrist. Some people find that off-putting. AP decided to forego that in its modern in-house calibers. You'll also note that the ceramic rotor bearings do help to recoup some of the lost efficiency as unidirectional systems are more efficient. AP wanted a more refined system and they regained the loss efficiency by using unlubricated ceramic bearings. The balance bridge, as you can see, anchored on both sides paired with a free-sprung gyromax style balance architecture. We can get real close now and take a close look. And you can see that twin screw stud holder. Beautifully executed. You see the movement is tough as it's the same base caliber used in the offshore. Free sprung with a full bridge, 50 hour power reserve, automatic winding with ceramic bearings. It also features hacking or stop seconds. Should you wish to pull the crown, you will stop the constant seconds in the chronograph, allowing synchronization. For example, to a rally timer if you are participating in the Stad Classic for cars made from the 30s through the 70s within the confines of Switzerland, a wonderful event held every couple of years and in 2009 and 2011 sponsored by AP but the enduring appeal of the movement likely to outlast the cars themselves this is a watch with a timeless appeal beautifully finished beautifully detailed handsomely designed and thoughtfully so this is one of the few non-offshore or Royal Oak APs that has truly caught and captured my imagination in the four years I've been doing these videos see and find out why on our website